good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. I'll get right into it. Uh, um, before we bring up our speakers, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Billy Geesking from Pepin Distributing. You know, Pepin Distributing has been a, a major partner with us, and I'd like to thank Billy and, and Tom Pepin for all they do to help support our responsibility matters. From Tampa Prep, we have Kevin Plummer. Kevin's another uh, steady partner of the Tampa Police Department and the Hillsborough County Sheriff. You know, Tampa Prep and, and Kevin and their, their support over law enforcement, and this goes back, you know, a decade and everything that they've helped us and certainly does not go unnoticed. Um, we have Gary White from the Anti-Drug Alliance and we have Addie Carruthers from the University of Tampa. And those names I just gave you and those organizations have helped improve the safety of Gasparilla and the responsible, responsible use of alcohol. And I very much appreciate all their help that they do in providing a, uh, help providing a, a safe environment. Uh, first, uh, one of our speakers I'd like to bring up the Hillsborough County Sheriff, Sheriff Chad Cronister. Thank you, Chief Dugan. Uh, this community certainly benefits from the great working relationship that we have with the men and women of the Tampa Police Department. Um, we are always constantly reviewing our security plans. Chief Dugan and I are confident in the security plan that we have in place. We're grateful for all the agencies from around sounding, surrounding counties and beyond that come in and help make this such a, a wonderful event, but a safe event. With that, I implore everyone, everyone, it is the responsibility of everyone, not just law enforcement, to ensure that this is a safe event. If you see something suspicious, something out of the ordinary, we implore you to approach any law enforcement officer and let us know so we can check it out and determine uh, if, if it's something that we need to investigate further. Lastly, I'd like to remind everybody, this is time to come together, celebrate a wonderful tradition, a wonderful Tampa tradition. But we all have to be reminded that we have to get home safely, that everyone deserves to go home safely. So please, plan ahead. Before you leave the parade route, before you get to the parade, there are too many rideshare programs available today. There is absolutely no excuse. Take advantage of one of the trolleys, the city buses, parking at the one of the city, the, the city parking lots, but have a safe ride home. Don't drink and drive. Chief. Thank you, Sheriff. I, I could reiterate the Sheriff's message on uh, drunk driving. It's been through my 20, 29 years of law enforcement. No one plans on getting a DUI. They failed the plan, and, that, and that's what people need to remember. Um, from Tampa Fire Rescue, we have Chief Nicholas Cicero. Good morning, everyone. Uh, from Fire Rescue, uh, I would like to just reiterate what uh, both the, the chief and the sheriff stated about the, the overall safety of the event, but also partnering with the uh, United States Coast Guard. I would like to mention a couple other things. Number one, as far as uh, when the program kicks off, we're obviously going to have the uh, water invasion. I really would uh, implore that people uh, provide the amount of caution that is needed. There's a lot of boats on the water and working with the Coast Guard. Please be mindful of that. It's going to be tight quarters, so be mindful when navigating the boats. We have prepared uh, as the law enforcement agencies and other partners uh, uh, for throughout the year for this event and uh, we are very comfortable with the deployment. Know that uh, the parade preparation does not take away from uh, the community support and the community needs uh, as far as responding to everyday uh, incidents that might occur. I will tell you that there will be uh, a heavy medical presence, uh, first responders partnering with law enforcement all through the parade route. So please, if there's an issue, seek them out. They're gonna be visible. We will have medical bike teams that'll be uh, roving and partnering with uh, police officers as well. Uh, we will have strategic locations for medical aid uh, stations uh, that are out outside of the uh, congested area for facilitation, uh, support, direction, and help in any way, shape, or, or form. Uh, the city's emergency operations center will be open and fully staffed uh, for any issue that might arise. Uh, we will also have a citizen's helpline that's open and uh, the number for that citizen's helpline that would uh, be able to direct you with any questions would be 844-826-7248 or 844-TAMPA-4U. Either one of those uh, numbers will help you 
get the answers that you might might need. So, uh, in closing, I would just say that that we need to uh, enjoy the community in this in this day. Uh, be safe, pack your patience, and have a great and safe day. Thank you very much. From uh, Fish and Wildlife Commission, we have Major Robert Roger Young. Major. Thank you, Chief. I uh, would just like to say, uh, appreciative for the Chief for having us out here and our, our uh, efforts to make this a great Gasparilla 2019. I want to thank the Sheriff also for their cooperation as, also, as well as the uh, Chief of the Fire Department. This is a big, one of the biggest maritime events in the state of Florida, if not the country. Uh, this highlights our beautiful resources here in Tampa Bay. Um, and this is just a, one of a, a special maritime event. And that could not be accomplished without all the maritime law enforcement entities working together along with the United States Coast Guard as well to make this a safe event. So just a couple things we want to mention to the boaters that are going to be coming out this weekend. First and foremost, life jackets save lives. If you can, get a life jacket that you can wear comfortably. If you can have it on you, that's great. Uh, but have one for everybody on your boat. It's essential and it will save your life if you need it. Uh, be aware of your surroundings. When the Mosquito Fleet comes in set and channel, it's a beautiful event but it's also very intimidating. Uh, there's a lot of boats in a small area, so please be aware of your surroundings, maintain a safe speed, and do all you can to avoid a collision with other vessels. Uh, also, zero tolerance on boating on the influence. You've heard the, the sheriff and the chief say that before, uh, but we stress that uh, as well. FWC officers will be out in force with our law enforcement maritime partners to ensure that everybody gets home safely at the end of the day, and that's, that's extremely important. So we'll be looking for uh, boating under the influence violators uh, throughout the evening. Uh, also, watch the weather. Weather can change uh, quickly in the state of Florida in January, uh, and it might be a beautiful day when you come out in the morning, but it might turn uh, very windy and in different situation in the afternoon. So please keep an eye on the weather and have a contingency plan for getting home safely at the end of the day. And also do a comprehensive safety check on your vessel before you leave your house or your marina before you come to this event. Uh, when you're in the flotilla coming into Ted and Channel, that's not the time to discover you're going to have a um, safety equipment need or something you don't have so please do a comprehensive check I just want to say thank you to all our partners to making this one of the greatest events in the state of Florida and we appreciate their event we're looking forward to having a safe a Gasparilla 2019 thank you thank you you know over the years that the parade has really um, become quite the spectacle and we could not do this alone and our partnership with Daryl Stephanie from Event Fest and the uh, Ye Mystic crew of Gasparilla is just, you know, we're very lucky in our community to have law enforcement and them work so closely together. And the captain of the Ye Mystic crew is Richard Chapman. He's going to come up next. Thank you, Chief. Um, it's been a great pleasure planning this event and watching the planning and all the government agencies that, that contribute and all of our corporate sponsors that contribute to all this. First, as a parent, I'm most grateful to um, all of our administrators and educators for implementing our Responsibility Matters program. Uh, for all of you that have children and don't think they listen all the time, uh, my children went through that program and they definitely listened and it made a difference. So thank you to all of our educators and administrators. Um, also grateful for the support of our corporate sponsors, Seminole Hard Rock, iHeart Radio, and Pepin for educating our adult patrons, which is just as important as educating our youth when we come to participate in this parade. But most importantly, the law enforcement element that's here to protect us and make sure we all have a safe invasion. On the water, we have the U.S. Coast Guard, Florida Wildlife Commission, we have sheriff's offices from all around the area, and of course, Tampa Police and the Fire Department. On land, we have those the Tampa Police Department and the sheriffs carrying the bulk of the load with fire rescue also helping. Please come to this event with the spirit that this was created. We're here for the promotion of Tampa. We want to come with that attitude to show everyone how great we are, how well we do this parade. Be nice, help our law enforcement officers make this a safe event for all of us. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I think today just shows that there are so many moving parts to this to this huge event, and it, it's a partnership, and no one does it alone. Whether it's the the crew, Event Fest, whether it's the school system, um, the uh, Pepin distributing, all our different partners 
it's just amazing and and like i said no one does it alone and i'm very appreciative of that you know if i could just touch a little bit about the alcohol use and, and you know we want people to be aware we want them to have a plan uh, there is alcohol allowed on the parade route that will be clearly marked but we would ask the people be respectful when they're in the neighborhoods of people's private property you know there is no alcohol use in the neighborhoods unless you are on someone's private property um, you know I'm asking that people use some common sense uh, you know I think if it you know hashtags have kind of gone by the wayside but if, it, if I had one it would be hashtag pace yourself you know Gasparilla is a marathon it's a very long day and if you're not used to drinking at 9 a.m. it's probably not going to end up well for you by the time the parade starts and I can tell you um, that the ultimate buzz kill is a set of handcuffs around your wrist and, and you know if you get arrested at Gasparilla then shame on you because we've done everything we can we will be flexible and tolerant and we ask the same that everybody here be flexible and tolerant of each other but if your behavior imposes on someone else's good time then we're going to take action but that ultimately is not our goal um, but I you know I just want to let everyone know that we're expecting you know the 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 message is responsibility matters and that is what we're expecting out of everyone and we think it's going to be a great event and want everyone to have a good time and it's important that they're very safe and that they have a plan and think things through think about where they're going to park how they're going to get to the parade route and then how they're going to get back to wherever they came from do we have any questions We won't release the actual numbers of law enforcement officers, but we're expecting to be over 26 agencies. I think this is just a, a small group of, uh, of who's gonna be there. There are major partners, but we will bring in people from all over uh, the Bay Area. Um, I work very closely with Sheriff Conister. We were even finalizing some other plans just now before the press conference started. Uh, but that will go on throughout the day on Saturday and we will have a very flexible um, plan but we're not giving out too many details because you can imagine it's very difficult to um, secure a parade route of that length and there's just so many moving parts that go into it. Um, Sheriff, I don't know, would you like to talk about that? She asked about whether, how secure, would you repeat the question for the Sheriff? Yeah. You're, you're constantly implementing, implementing new measures, and I think if there's any positive that comes out that a tragedy that occurs around our country or around the world, law enforcement shares those experiences. Yes, this is what we did well. This is where we can improve and what we should have done better. Um, when you have someone who wants to drive onto a parade route and, and as a terroristic act and, and kill people, you know, now we have hardened up the parade route where vehicles can't get onto the parade route. So you're constantly reviewing different events around the country. This is an event that the Tampa Police Department and the Sheriff's Office has planned. We start planning two weeks after the previous year's event. So this is a year's worth of planning. And there's constant modification and tweaks. You know, like the Chief said, even up to a couple minutes before the press conference, whenever we can make a modification, a tweak, anything to, to identify maybe a, a, a shortfall, a gap in security, we're gonna make that even, even during the day of the event. Any other questions? Yeah, as law enforcement, we try to avoid that, but you know, it's been estimated there's 300,000 people to come for Gasparilla. It's it's hard to tell. Um, I inflated the number a little bit last year, and I got you know heat over that. But who who's going to know? I mean, who's going to count them? Uh, but I can tell you, it's a it's a tremendous amount of, of people. And when you look at the big picture of it all, it's a very well-behaved event. It's a tremendous success for our city, and we're expecting the same thing. You know, the one thing about the Gasparilla faithful is they're coming rain or shine. So it, it, we're expecting uh, it to be a great day, and, um, you know, I think we're going to have some great weather, and, and it's going to be fun for everyone. 